In the last few videos, we covered removing the sprue, pre-polishing, and then centering. So now that we have our product here, we want to just do a final polish on it because we want to make sure that the occlusal contacts are nice and polished. We're going to take our beige twist and we're going to go once again between four to seven thousand and we're just going to lightly go over the surface. Occlusal contacts, we want to put a little bit more effort in there just to make them nice and polished. Now, it's important to remember you can over polish zirconia. When you over polish the zirconia, it actually turns kind of pearly or it, it can marbleize and it can actually darken the color. Now, don't worry, if that happens, you can take your air abrasion and you can go over it gently and it will remove that darkness and you can go back over with a light hand again. All right, so you can see there's a nice shine on that. And now sometimes we really like the way that is. Sometimes we're like, wow, that's really fantastic. And other times we're like, well, let's make it a little bit more characteristics. Maybe they've got white spots. Maybe they need a little bit more warmth, even though the gradation here is really great. So we're going to talk about stain and glaze. Now, CZR paste stain by Quarry is really nice. Here I have three colors, a uh, clear, grayish blue, and cervical two. Uh, when you have these pastes, you'll notice that they're kind of not mixed, they're not together. So we do want to make sure that we mix each of these for about 30 seconds so that we can make sure everything is incorporated. And as you can see, some parts are a little bit chunky and some parts a little bit more fluid. So we're just gonna go ahead and incorporate everything together. And as you see, the more we work at it, the smoother it gets. It becomes kind of like honey in consistency. So you can see now it flows really smoothly. And that's how we're gonna make sure everything is gonna paint on nicely. All right, so I'm gonna grab a crown holder because we wanna be able to hold our crown without touching it so we can apply our glaze. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is take some clear glaze and we're gonna apply it to the surfaces. Now, this is kind of like painting your nails. So you just wanna gently coat everything with an even brush strokes. And always paint down towards the margin. Just make sure everything is just covered with a thin layer of glaze. Okay. Next, there's gonna be a graphic that shows you where to apply everything, but I like to take some cervical two or an A plus. We just put a little bit on the tip of our brush and we wanna give a little bit of warmth near the cervical. So I generally just sort of dot that on. And then I will take my brush and gently move the colors to where I want it to go. So in this case, we've used a super white crown. It's actually NW, it's like a, a bleach shade. But this way we can see how the colors go on. And then I'll take a little bit and go into the fissures because I like to make things pretty. And that gives a little bit of depth to the fissures. Next, we want to take a little bit of blue. And that's just to give it a little bit of a halo, a little bit of a translucency. And we apply that near the incisal edge, but just below it. And then you want to make sure you blend that in. And what this is going to do, it's going to give it a little bit of life. Sometimes you can add a little bit of white right near the cusp tips. And on an incisal of a anterior, you can make a halo with it actually, which makes it look really realistic.
Okay, now that we have our stained crown, we can then apply it into, we can put it into the oven to center.